をしないとこの素材で。So, the shape of this tree also is quite difficult to use in a typical forest planting because it has a lower second branch or secondary trunk there. So, in most cases, what he would do is cut off that lower branch so that you just have a single trunk and then he'll put them together. It's probably quite difficult to see from the audience. But、uh, the largest tree in the planting is called the parent tree. And surrounding that tree, he'll plant two or three other smaller trunks. So you have a, a group that you start with there around the largest tree, then off to one side or the other of that, depending on the directionality of the planting. He'll create a secondary group with a slightly smaller trunk, also with two to three more around that as well. So he starts with two groups and then builds the rest of the forest around that. So if you notice in the front there, you can fit your hand, the palm of your hand, completely into that open、uh, area. So, if you look at the planting from the side, you'll notice that it fans out. It's very narrow at the base and then fans out as it gets towards the top. So, even though the tree is moving to the left, there are some trees on the right side of the planting that are slightly leaned out towards the right. So, this is、uh, sort of the general、uh, principles. So these are the general principles in building a forest planting. So, as you can see, he's starting with the largest tree. The tree is taller than all the rest, the trunk is thicker. He'll start with this and place it where he wants it to go and then build the forest planting around that.、Uh, and because this is not the best or most ideal time to work on the roots of the plant, he hasn't cut too much off of this main tree here, just for safety's sake. So, the chucky, I don't want. He still wants a little bit of mobility as he's planting the plants、uh, or placing the plants in the pot,、uh, but he doesn't want them to fall over, so that's why he's using. A、relatively fine, wet Akadama, 100% Akadama. Right, so this is the first grouping here. He placed the main tree, and now he's putting two more around it. So he's using variations、uh, in terms of sizes of the trunks.、Uh, he's not placing all of the largest trees first. He's placing smaller ones in there and then he'll add some other large ones later. Yeah, so he, he does have somewhat of a plan in mind.、Um, not necessarily the finished product,、uh, but he will prepare the larger tree、uh, in this way where there's very little branching at the bottom. And then the smaller trees, as you can see, the smaller the tree, the,、uh, the lower the branches are on the trunk. So he doesn't have this final image in mind necessarily from the beginning,、uh, but he does prepare them based on the size as to how high up and down on the、uh, trunk those branches are placed. So, as you can see, there's very little rootage on a lot of these plants, but he did that intentionally so he could place them quite close together.
Okay, so at the very beginning of the demonstration, uh, Mr. Takayama explained that uh, because this is a bad time of year to repot trident maples, what he did is he removed all of the leaves about one week ago to bring the trees back to a state of sort of semi-dormancy, uh, essentially returning them to their winter silhouette so that he can plant them and actually work on the rootage at this time of year. If he leaves the foliage on there and does this kind of root work to them, the trees are likely to lose branches or the entire tree might die. So he did this about one week ago, taking all of the leaves off, and after planting it today, in about another week, the new set of leaves will start to come out again. So if you notice from the front, there's a section right to the middle where there are no trees. It's like a path to the middle of the forest. So if he leaves that path completely open, there's no real depth to the planting. So he's going to put a couple of trees in the backside there as well uh, later, so that your eye doesn't go straight through the planting. There'll be some trees in the very back. So now that he has all of the trunks placed in the planting that he wants, what he's going to do now is move the trunks that are too straight or out of place or crossing or not in the right position. He'll slightly move those so that he gets a better balance and a better overall look to the planting. So the, the question was over time, uh, as the trees uh, thicken, uh, they tend to merge with one another, so does he you know, take the composition apart at that point and rebuild it? Uh, so let me ask you. 毎年幹がだんだん太くなるじゃないですか。ブラウンビーの木の木の木の木の木の木の木の木の木の木の木の木の木の木の木の木の木の木の木の木の木の木の木の木の木の木の木の木の木の木の木の木の木の木の木の木の木の木の木の木So this is the final composition here. Uh, as you can see, it's very beautiful, very well done, and Mr. Takayama-san himself is very pleased with the outcome today, so he hopes that you are as well.